there guys, welcome to Clocks Not Gaming, welcome back to Starbound. Uh, today I'm bringing you a short tutorial on how to change your random seed generation, uh, which at the moment isn't very random, everyone has the exact same uh, universe layout, uh, no matter what sector you're in, you can just type in the coordinates and you'll find the same planet each time. Uh, and obviously that while that's good for some people, some people might like that consistency so they can always find the best weapons straight away by find knowing where the gun merchants are. Um, but other people like myself like a bit of, you know, we like a bit of adventure, we like to, you know, searching these planets it, to me is one of the main bits of the game, like I don't want to just straight away get to the, the, the same the planet where I know the guns are, um, I want to enjoy searching planets looking for these guns. So um, to achieve that, what you have to do is uh, go into one of the configuration files and change that. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But just as a kind of a bit of comparison, uh, if I kind of you know click a random sector, and then we type in a number, say uh, I think uh, one of the gun merchants is in this sector at two minus two. And then we say we say we've got Gamma Zeta Cap Mojaris here. Um, We've got number one, and okay, we've got a level 30 planet here. So I won't land and bore you guys with running around there, but um, yeah, so but we can see we've got a level 23, a level 29, and a level 30 planet here. Um, so that will be kind of our comparison. So uh, I'll see you in a second where I'll show you how to change the file. All right, then. So the folder you want to navigate to is uh, C, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, uh, until you find your starbound folder, folder, and obviously. All of that's dependent on where you installed your Steam apps. Um, then you want to go to Assets, and then within the Assets folder, you're going to find this file here called Celestial.config. Uh, now, um, I've made a copy of this because obviously I want to make keep the original, uh, and I recommend all of you to, to to do that. Definitely, definitely make sure you keep the original. Um, I'm going to click here, and I'm just going to open it. Now I've got Visual Studio installed, so that's why it's opening up in that. But you will be able to open this in Notepad, WordPads, whatever you want. Uh, I'd recommend WordPad over Notepads because it will keep the formatting in. Uh, Notepad will just kind of make it go like one big line across the top, and it'll take you a while to find what you need to find. Um, and what you want to scroll down, scroll down to is the sectors section here. Um, as you can see, you've got Alpha, Beta, Gamma, uh, Sector X, and that's all that's in the game at the moment. Um, and so from there you want to find the sector seed section and so if you remember the planet we looked at was in uh, the sector gamma I want to say I think uh, and so we've got the sector seed number here I'm just going to change this to like well I'm just going to change like one number just to see kind of what happens so let's change like that to seven let's change a few actually that to three uh, and that to that to five and so we're going to hit save on that, save all, uh, close that down and we can go back into game now. I've completely closed down the game because I'm not sure whether you have to reset the game or not, I'm assuming you do. Um, and so I'm going to reload the game from scratch and see kind of what my gamma sector now looks like. So I'll see you in a second. Alright then, let's have a look at the fruits of our labour. So we head to the galaxy viewing panel. Uh, head to the Gamma Sector and um, <clears throat> type in the coordinates we looked at before, which was 2, negative 3. And yes, yeah, straight away that is completely different from uh, what we had. I remember the planet we looked at was about here and there was like a kind of a big gap around it and you know, and so straight away that's just a big clusterfuck of planets and so yeah, that, that, that's a uh, definitely changed it was a it was a blue planet or blue uh, galaxy sorry and uh yeah none of these are are that sector so even it hasn't even just kind of moved other things closer to it this is completely like miles and miles away um yeah like i mean <laughs> we know how big these galaxies are it's, it's just like there's no I, I i don't really want to be up to the task of finding that planet again um obviously because of that i can't test uh is that no, no? I thought I actually just found it there in two seconds. But um, no, yeah. Uh, obviously, because of that, I, I don't know whether that same galaxy will have the same stuff on it, like actually on the planets. Um, but you know, your chances of finding that same galaxy again 
are very rare unless you literally just sit there for an hour running your mouse over every single galaxy so um, yeah this is definitely an effective way of randomizing the game for you for uh, each playthrough and it's definitely something I'm going to do uh, especially after this uh, wipe I'm just going to quickly change all my world seeds and um, yeah just play the game how it's meant to be played blindly uh, uh, so yeah if you found this tutorial helpful give it a like and a comment and I'll see you next time guys for some more informative videos.